Hello, everybody, and welcome to a very uh, unorthodox video on the Dota Cinema channel. My name is Suns Fan, as always, but joining me today is the great Lukey Lukey. How are you, good sir? Hello, hello, hello. Hi, Suns Fan. Thanks what, for having me. On. What are you doing here, dude? What the fuck are you doing on this channel? <laughs> Uh, we're doing a, we're doing a Pangolier replay review session. Yeah. So I forget who it was, but somebody, uh, tweeted about this to me after I talked about, I think on the podcast that I really wanted to get coached and Pangolier because my favorite hero by far right now, I have just above a 50% win rate, which is garbage. Cause I think I'm good with this hero, but I lose a lot for some reason. And apparently this is the only hero you play. Is this uh semi accurate? Yes, this is very accurate. Very, very accurate. I'm, I'm currently, yeah, I've, I've hit very high MR uh, in this region playing this hero. Uh, a lot of people don't like me because I mainly <laughs> play this hero. Sometimes it gets banned and they're on my team and they're like, oh no, this is really shitty. Uh, but otherwise, um, yeah, it's, it's kind of just really fun to play for me all the time. Never get, never gets boring unless one day it gets boring. And then you sleep and you wake up the next day and you're. Ready to go again. It's so. a new day. I agree. Okay, so <laughs> yeah. let's sync up on the start of the replay, and then uh, we can talk about whatever the hell we want. So I'm going to say three, two, one, and then on go, we go. Okay? Okay, sounds good. Three, two, one, go. All right, so this game, I'm going to put this on player perspective for now for me. You can do whatever yep. you want. Okay. This is a pub game. I am pubbing with a good friend, Snow, who is on the Magnus. My girlfriend is on the Ogre Magi. I think <laughs> okay. we lane together. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Giving each other high fives. That's nice. That's right. Now, Morale the up. starting build. Let's start with this, okay? This is what I build every <laughs> single time. Is this remotely close to what you should be doing in the offlane? Um, it's kind of close. So the general starting build that I would go for, that you can go for on most heroes and it's relatively okay, is a Quelling Blade. Uh, and then two sets of tangos, and then just one mango, a ring of protection, and a branch. I, I think that adds up. I, I didn't calculate a, that really fast. But... A ring of protection and a... Do you turn the ring of protection into anything? Um, no. It's just mostly for... <laughs> like, well, okay. well, I mean, for most other offlaners, like, I, I actually used to play a lot more offlane, so I would, I would know the answer to this, like, a couple weeks ago, but mm. recently it's mostly just been Pangolier, and I haven't been turning it into anything as of late. Huh. So, yeah. Okay. But, it, I mean, in this lane, you maybe might look at the PA and be like, okay, maybe I could start Stick or something like that. Like, mm -hmm. a start you could go this game would be Quelling, um, six Tangos, a Stick, and maybe a Enchanted Mango. That would work. So, um, before we go any further, I just have to warn you. I'm a very stubborn player, Luki. So, I tend to... It's just... It, it's not just in my playing style. It's in my life as well. If I go to a restaurant and I find something that I like to eat, I get the yeah. same thing every single time because if I don't, and I, occasionally I don't, I'm always disappointed. It's kind of the same thing with Pangolier. I build him almost the same way every single game. I almost okay. never get wand because it feels like I just get too many items so fast that I don't need it, you know? Really? Yes. And a lot of them are jungle okay. items because in the games, everybody funnels the items to me because I'm the god <laughs> of the game. <laughs> That's how we play. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, well, I guess to start on the first point, I definitely agree with you. I have been disappointed more than once on, like, on numerous occasions I've been disappointed by trying a different option. And then my friend gets, like, the option that I know is good, and they're just happy, you know? Like, I went to this right. pub place with some guys, and, yeah, I don't know, that's, that's a weird story, but I ended up getting some sort of, sort of, uh, some sort of tea. Everyone's like, well, you're gonna eat tea, and I felt cool drinking the tea, but in reality, I wanted the slushy. <laughs> Dude, tea I, is the worst, it, honestly. It was it was some weird tea, but but anyways, on Pangolier, um, I find stick to be such a valuable item on this hero. Yeah. Like the amount of mana that you get for this item, um, is insanely good. Like I, sometimes I'll find myself in in thirty minute games, and I've just got my entire inventory filled up, and then I just have a stick still. Like it, right. it, the amount of, and I guess you could look at this game as well. You see like a sky and a PA. Like, yeah. To be honest, stick would be... I'm sure I regret it in this game not getting Because there are a few <laughs> landing stages I'm like, fuck, I should have gotten a wand, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Do I... This was Did nice. I get it? Yeah, no, I like this. I failed. Oh, I thought... That's <laughs> my first fail of the game. It fuck. did look good, though. It did. I, I tried... So I, I actually... These two branches, I never combine into wand, as we just kind of discussed. I use them as, like, okay. the double regen. Yeah, uh, and what I do, 
every single game, again, very stubborn, I go first item javelin before anything else. Because once I, if I can get that really quickly, it just feels like the lane is over. I just win. Yeah. Probably not that's efficient. Super true. But... Uh, I love that deny, first of all. Um, I guess in, in order to, like the thing, when you're talking about like your bread and butter, I, I actually just, most games, even if I'm against, like I'll just no brain, just buy a stick mm. on this hero. I, j I just find that it's it's so value. I know I know 100% I'm going to turn it into like a magic one later. I actually just value magic one way too much on this hero, just for the the instant health and mana that it gives you. Uh, I don't know. I mean, especially in this lane, you can kind of like I would have ferried myself a stick and probably a salve. Oh wait, did I, I just buy money. a stick? <gasps> Holy <You> shit! <laughs> I have no recollection of this at all. Wow, damn, I'm good. All right. I mean, this this is probably the the only lane in Dota where I mean <laughs> I I would argue. <laughs> Yeah, um, but yeah, I, I might have bought maybe a salve at the same time too. I'm not sure how much the ogre is tanking, but you, I would imagine I'm getting harassed like so much in this lane. If you buy like an right. additional region item, you can probably last until until you get your javelin. So gotcha. Okay, I am so excited when I get to. We're not going to discuss it yet. Okay. I'm so excited for level ten because I might trigger you with what I do. Uh, but... I really hope you don't skill the left talent. Oh, but. we'll see. We'll see what I do this game. <laughs> okay. I have some good arguments one way or the other. Uh, yeah. But yeah, javelin first item typically. I always go arcane. Like obviously, I queue up a lot of my my items, but arcane into maelstrom essentially. But starting with the javelin first, and once yep. I get the maelstrom, it just feels like I'm constantly farming every single wave. It's so e the hero just feels like so easy once you get That's that. That's perfect. Up. That's what I love to hear. So a lot of people also, they, they don't like me in another sense because they say that I only know how to farm. But the thing with Pango is that I feel like you're just, you're able to be so like, so efficient with your farming patterns and your rotations around the map. There's no reason why you shouldn't be farming. Like right. every time you're making plays in different lanes, if you just clear a wave beforehand, it takes like two seconds. And it's actually just, just so valued to have waves being cleared, especially when your hero can clear them so fast. You know, when the hero first came out, I was uh, pretty triggered by some of the builds I was seeing. Because I started with the, the Maelstrom build, because I'm a greedy yeah. kind of player. I see people building, like, pipe and all this utility shit, yules. I'm sure <laughs> some of it is good sometimes, but holy shit. It just feels so much better when you have actual damage on this hero. It does. That's that's actually uh, somewhat of a recurring theme on my on my stream. Every once in a while, people will say... BSJ would have bought a pipe, or some other streamer <laughs> would have bought a pipe. Oh my god, I was, I okay. So... Not to oh, shit also, talk yeah. BSJ. He lives in Arizona, he's been to my house, we're friends. I was okay. watching him play Pango, I was legitimately triggered. My girlfriend can attest, I was triggered by his build. Going the okay. complete wrong talents that I go, complete wrong skill, everything was different. I just died, by the way, a few minutes, like a minute yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. What did I do? <laughs> yeah, um... Okay, but his Pango has been improving recently. He's been playing it more, um, skilling the a different talent than you at level ten. Uh, it's a big change, I guess, if you skill the slash range. Well, we'll see. I don't know what I do uh, here. Okay, uh, we can talk about that now if you want. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, we can go back to the the lane thing really fast. Sure. Um, so sure. I guess if you dying there wasn't actually that bad because you didn't. I think if you ferried yourself a salve earlier with your stick, mm. it might have been okay. Like you swashbuckled kind of close range earlier. Um, if you swatch bullet further, you could have just lived and then like salved up or something else. But I don't. Think I it was tend that to have. It, you know how? What's the saying? You have your eyes are bigger than your stomach. It's kind of like my testicles in Dota. I I feel like I always need to be in front. My balls are bigger than I really, uh, than they actually are. If that makes any sense. So I get myself yeah. stuck in a lot of crappy situations on Pango. Yeah, I think that that's that's okay. I think Pango's a hero, that it's actually not that bad to have balls bigger than your stomach. Or. <laughs> <laughs> a mouth bigger than your stomach. My God. Balls like, bigger this than your stomach. Has, mm. Yeah, yeah. This hero just actually has so many. <laughs> he has so many escape routes and so many get out of jail free cards that other heroes actually lack. So you're mm -hmm. actually enabled to play at a more like uh, greedy or uh, offensive way um, that messes with your opponent because you just have so many outs on this hero. Right. Like with your roll and your and your Q. So I'm out CSing the PA. I just bad. realized what the fuck is going on. That should never happen. Oh, I should pull out last hits. Yeah, this lane's going great, actually. Yeah, Nikki, my girlfriend, just killed the courier, and now we're beating the shit out of PA. Get wrecked, bitch. This, game, this yeah. lane is one. This is lit. Um, I ha I don't I haven't really been skilling level two shield crash very often. 
Oh yeah, we uh, should talk about portion, that. Right? Yeah. yeah. So I, I guess I have some kind of builds that I generally follow. Um, I don't really start to skill shield crash until I have at least like two points in lucky shot, or mm -hmm. if there's like a kill. I just don't think the one point is value because if you're really just laning and you're just using your Q for like harass and farm, it, just a level one shield crash is never really gonna do much on the hero. Uh, you don't think how much is the damage mitigation level one reduction? It's nine percent per hero. I guess yeah, kind of meh. Yeah, I mean, I've I've ended up skilling more W, uh, putting more points in W when I was playing mid lane. Like every once in a while, I'll I'll be like, oh, I should put more points in this. But oftentimes, even in the mid lane, I end up putting like two points in lucky shot, just because the disarm is so value, and you like rarely have man on this hero anyways. Uh, but if there's a kill opportunity, definitely shield crash is good. All right. Okay. So. You typically, obviously, max and Q for people that aren't aware how to play this hero is always the case. So you're saying two in lucky shot and then maxing shield crash after, right? Yeah, two to three in lucky shot, depending two on the game. Two to three. But Damn. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, I'm pretty greedy with my with my uh, E ability, and I, I really hate pressing W because I'm always farming as fast as I can with my Q. So. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, typically. This is actually something I've given almost no thought, if I'm being honest. I always thought that the passive was kind of just this uh, one-hit wonder. I mean, it scales pretty well, don't get me wrong, but it it feels like it's a not a one-hit wonder. What's the better way to describe it? I'm not sure, but I always go the max shield crash right after just getting a value level of lucky shot. Okay. Which, now that I think about it, I don't really use it that often because it doesn't do much damage until, like, level three, probably. Yeah. Uh, so Looks like my mid here. just took my shrine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I saw. Know. I mean, you, I saw you just ferried your regen. I was hoping you'd ferry it out earlier, but uh, it still seems okay. I might have ferried yourself. Like, I actually ferry myself so much regen on this hero. Like every yeah. time I buy items from base, so say I buy like a my stick purchase, I'll, I'll ferry out a salve or more tangos. When I buy my javelin, I try to, as much as I want to instantly just my gold t ticker hits 1100, and I want to just buy my javelin. I try to like see if there's like a wave that I can get oh, some XP or some more gold out of, and maybe I'll buy like a set of tangos as well, maybe some clarities. Right. Uh, it's just so valuable on this hero to just have regen because you're so easily harassed. And, I mean, I guess it's valuable on all heroes to have regen. I just yeah, I think it's probably something with the patch that I just haven't fully adjusted to yet. The fact that you can just use the courier constantly, I don't use it as efficiently as I probably should. And yeah. salves are definitely number one on the list. But overall, we're still doing fine. Right, this is this is going very well. PA is farming like garbage. What is going on? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I'm not sure. I guess even putting the pressure on her, she's died this is once. Probably a very low skill game as well. Should probably mention yeah. that. Oh yes. This is good. You're fighting Clockwork and you have your W. It's That's like true. You die either way, but. How oh. dare you? I will never die. Wait, do I? I don't remember if I die. No, I'm good. You're good. Barely. Oh Nine HP. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. do you, in terms of like the main items, uh, like I said, arcane into maelstrom, is this what you do most of the time? Yeah, that's that's generally the build. Um, sometimes I'll finish my, my magic stick. The only other uh, difference in my builds was sometimes instead of arcane boots, I would go like treads, uh, which is kind of, it super depends on the game. Like, it depends on whether you're able to right-click someone, whether you want to be really greedy and just, like, have mana for yourself and for your support. Radiance or if you want to maybe attack. stop yourself from getting bursted as easily by just switching to treads when you get sky ulted. Like, if mm -hmm. you get sky ulted and you have, like, power treads, like, on strength and bracer, then you'll actually... it won't be as bad. Because I, I assume in this game you'll probably die to a sky ulti, like, at least once in this game. And, I don't know, it might have saved your life, but I'm not sure. We we'll have, have to wait and see. Out. It's an <laughs> yeah. okay ulti. Yeah, the shield crash, now that I look at it, level one, it just uses so much mana. There's no point, almost. Yeah, and it, it also, uh, I see that it causes most people to actually use it. Just It actually just ruins their early rolls. Yeah. Like, it's really good to incorporate your W into your rolls, but like if you didn't press W there, you would have had, again, more mana, and you also might have hit him again. Like, I don't remember exactly the play that happened, but I think you could have optimized stuff a little better there. But yeah. Yeah, I think that's one thing that, uh, I think Pango, gen I don't know if you feel this way, Pango from, how do I explain this? 
it's not that difficult of a hero. I think the highest skill cap is probably the rolling, right? The maneuvering that properly. I think Q is just sure. muscle memory for the most part once you just practice it a bunch of times. But the... No, this is a better question for you. Have you been having more trouble rolling since the this big patch, since they changed the map? I get fucking stuck in the weirdest <laughs> crevices for some reason in the last couple months. Yeah, it's definitely been, been interesting. Sorry, real quick, I would have kept right-clicking that PA there. I... I um, okay. What did I do? Uh, you just kind of swashbuckle hit him once and then kind of ran away a bit. No. Uh, I don't know. If there's any scenario where you know the PA kind of has to retreat eventually, I, I guess that's like some, some other just random skills, like just knowing when you get can get free right clicks off. Mm. Like if you know this PA is like waiting for this uh, last hit or something like that, and the creep's like getting low health. If you just like start right clicking the PA, it'll draw aggro off the creep, and then you just get like infinite right clicks off. But that's right. like something else, I guess. Okay. Yeah, that makes uh, in sense. Terms of in terms of rolling, I kind of adapted to it pretty quick because I only play one hero, but originally <laughs> originally it was very hectic. I hope you roll right now. Or... Uh, doesn't look like I'm going to. I shield crash. <laughs> <laughs> the like, value like level one shield crash well, again. <laughs> so so I would have rolled, like, even though you could have been like, oh, Snapfire, you got this kill, you got this. Like, I don't know what's going on in your voice calling me Snapfire. It's like, oh, give me the kill, give me the kill. But <laughs> I would have rolled. Uh, and then I might have rolled into like the clock after. Um, he's kind of tanky. I see his items are not that good, but he has a lot of health. Um, mm -hmm. But I kind of might have rolled into him anyways. When, when you see a clockwork, are you happy as a pango? I'm very happy as a pango. I think that hero is terrible against pango. Uh, you can press Q and W. It's kind of weird sometimes if you bounce off the cogs, but yeah, I that's the only pango. awkward thing. Okay. Before we go on, actually, I have this isn't a rant. I want to know what you think is the hardest. Like, if you're playing Pango, what hero do you not want to see? Because there's one for me that I will just like turn off my brain because I know the game's already over. I've encountered so hard. Um, what hero? I it's this is it's your been, trivia question. I mean, the answer is probably Bloodseeker. Yes, but but it could be it could be different. Like there was a time in my life where I was hating on other heroes because it was actually so hard to lane. Uh, but currently it's just Bloodseeker. It's it's so hard to play against Bloodseeker perfectly because you can't like, like the expression, the, the mouth bigger than, I'm going to keep saying your mouth, your balls are bigger than your eyes. Or your stomach. I'm going to mess this that's, up now no, That's forever. perfect. That's good. <laughs> but, but yeah, it's, it's like that same thing where you can't like actually play too aggressively without knowing where the Bloodseeker is. Mm -hmm. And you always have to play like with your team. And it's, it just makes every part of the game so difficult. Like comparing that to other heroes, I guess like there's Pac with the ulti, there's Treant ulti. Like those are kind of annoying, but they don't really like ruin your game. If you right. if you get your positioning wrong with Bloodseeker, you'll just die and you'll just be sad. You're like, damn, this what guy you... just killed me. Like if, yeah. if there's a Bloodseeker in this game, what do you itemize? Because I've I've tried everything, honestly. Like Lotus Orb is pretty mad because you have to do that beforehand. Uh, I mean, the best possible thing is Lincolns, but then you have a fucking Lincolns, <laughs> and you're not doing any damage. I generally don't know what to do when the Bloodseeker gets picked. Uh -huh. I just have to play differently more than itemize. It feels yeah. like. Yeah. That's that's actually exactly what I tell people because I get that question uh, asked all the time. They ask me what I what I can do or what how I play against Bloodseeker differently. I just say I play differently. Um, I, I definitely would suggest like a bracer purchase to increase your tankiness, maybe maybe treads. Um, but a lot of it's just playing differently on the map. Like you can farm items extremely fast if you, especially with like a goal in mind. So say your goal is to have like a decent linkings time. So my items for this game might be. Now the, this game's kind of different because there's no Bloodseeker in it. Like, I would probably like BKB looks kind of good in this game, but I probably still wouldn't even buy that. You know, I've never bought BKB in my entire life on this hero. Not one time, I think. I used you think to go that's a Lincoln's. Huge mistake? <laughs> no, I don't think it's a huge mistake. I used to go Lincoln's every game on this hero until I finished like my nine yeah. hundredth game, and there was like a single game where I was against like <laughs> Dark Willow and a bunch. What it the actually. Fuck? I, I, I will not. I'm not kidding you. I, I, you said you were a stubborn person. I built the <laughs> same items on this hero every game for like 900 games, and then That's eventually was this game. I was like, oh, BKB looks pretty good this game. I'm having trouble <laughs> getting my roll off, or I'm having trouble doing this, and and then I just my eyes just opened. I was like, oh, maybe I can do this build or this build, and then. Right. So, oh, Grimstroke. Oh, that was the other hero. I was oh, yeah, Grimstroke's about. very annoying. Yeah, any any hero that can essentially root you. That's kind of a root, I guess, in a sense. Oh, this is I get destroyed. This was really bad. Here. Oh, yeah, that was really bad. I felt pretty bad after that one, but it happens. 
Um, yeah. But yeah, I have Maelstrom, so I'm, I should be able to farm pretty well now. I think we'll be fine. So yep. maxing my shield crash as we talked about. Oh, I, I got the, uh, what's that item? The Royal Jelly delivered to me. Special That's delivery. <laughs> my favorite. Yeah. That is actually one of the best items I, I you can get early game. There's like Arcane Ring and then the Jelly, and those just like change the game completely. That and Nets, but that's like something for later as well. Oh boy. We're gonna, we have a lot of things to talk about, my friend. The net, I, I never want it on this here. I tried it once. I don't like it. Oh no. It makes me feel, it makes me, it feels like I'm playing a different hero. It's not the, the style of play that I like. Because I'm rolling in and I'm disabling. I'm supposed to be doing the damage. That's how I feel. Because I can't trust my carries to do anything, you know? Okay. So I'm trying to do, like, I build it. We'll talk about what I build, but here's the clumsy oh, net. net is <laughs> I, I don't net. take it. I will tell you right now, I 100% will not take okay. that item. Okay. So you know the net's you know the net's castle while you're rolling, though, right? Yes. I... Okay, yes. Okay. 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 So I stun them. I cast net, and then it stuns them again, and I'm in place. It just keeps. It's like having Yules. Kind of, yes. Right? Yes. It's another reason I don't buy Yules. Cause I don't like that style <laughs> okay. of play. For I mean, I, I'm I'm hugely against Yules, not because I think it's terrible on the hero, because it's it's really not that bad. But because it's not like a defusal, like I'm spending, I'm spending 2,800 gold on yeah. on some item that doesn't make me do more damage. Just feels so bad. Uh, but because but yeah, it's free, can... you're saying it's good. Yeah, because it's free. There's there's so many there's so many small intricate things with um, with the net. It's really hard for me to go over them. But like, say you have an enemy against a wall and you like, I, it's hard for me to describe this. But um, it's basically just you you get like a free stun off on him. Mm -hmm. um, you can also be W'ing while you're in the air, and you can cast your net like while you're mid-air shield crashing. So you don't have to worry about like... And the shield crash is in place? Like you don't move forward at all? Yeah, so as soon as you cast your okay. net, even if you're in the air when you're shield crashing... Oh, oh this shit. looks like a great play that's going oh! I love the W. I love the W. Oh, great, that felt good. great orgasmic moment there. <laughs> and then a beautiful kill. Do you equip the taunt, by the way? I, I am not a taunter, unfortunately. What? It's not in my blood. You're. I think the main. <laughs> technically, NA. You know that, right? You're going against all things NA when you say that. Yeah, I think the main problem was that I didn't have a hockey for it. I've had hockey <laughs> problems my entire <laughs> life. I see. That makes where sense. Where I just have trouble binding things. Like I don't even have a button. Like to deliver the courier items, I just I click the button in the bottom right to buy items and click oh buy. Oh my! Click the bottom right. Oh, you're I hurting me right now. My stream hates me for it, and I actually feel kind of bad, but... You know, it's funny because uh, when I owned a team, we had a lot of pro players come in and out, and some of their settings are just plain stupid. So it's <laughs> it's not unusual, honestly. It's so weird. It doesn't really matter that much, apparently. I like that Q a lot. That was nice. Thank you. I love my Q on this hero. I'm sure I miss I a few right after this. So after the Maelstrom, I pretty much always go for uh, the Diffusal. Yep. And then after defusal, almost every game I get Greaves. I love Greaves Ooh. on this hero. Love it. I thought we were all about going in. So what this is, this, this is what we're going to talk about. Notice I'm level 12, right? I have not skilled yeah. the talent. This is what I typically do. I skip the talents. I max out my E, which I don't think is that bad because I never, almost never go to mana regen talent. We're going to watch a fight here, I guess. Yeah, this looks good. I might have rolled. Okay. Looks fine. I got 80 HP. I'm fine. So, so yeah, I skip my talents. Tell me how wrong this is, okay? I skip my talents because I feel like the three mana regen is good. I get it maybe 20% of the time, honestly, depending on the game. 20%. Okay. But if I feel like I'm not going to have mana issues, which I feel like I almost never have mana issues on this, this hero when it gets to mid to late game. And I okay. think the swashbuckle slash range is, like, the best chase possible. It's so fucking... It takes probably like 10 15 games to actually get used to it but i think it's really good do you not like that talent at all or is it more just the mana regen is just so good um i actually the mana regen is is really good but i also just don't i just don't like the talent like first of all the mana regen is actually an insane amount like three mana regen is, is so much mana that if you're just walking around with like clarities and you have arcane boots you like never run out of mana you can clear any mm. camp you want whenever your queue's up you're gonna be fine casting it. Your life's just, just your quality of life is just so good. I mean, you're already doing great right now in this game, to be honest. Like, if you can hit a 20 minute defusal maelstrom timing, I set that as a benchmark as I'm having a pretty good. Game. 
Right. If I can get like an 18 minute defusal, uh, defusal mail boots, like upgraded boots timing, I know I'm having a great game. Uh, so do you never go Greaves or rarely? I, I will very rarely go Greaves How because come? most of the time, so I don't think Greaves is in that great a place right now as an item. Uh, as well as I'm also a big fan of like playing for myself, I guess. I mean, if there's any, <laughs> I mean, you say people hate playing we... with you. <laughs> it's all starting to make sense. <laughs> well, like I, I can understand the Greaves, but even now Greaves isn't purchased that much as an, as an item. But there's also a lot of great uh, other items for this hero that would would also solve your problem. If you're worried about getting killed by, I guess, burst from sky, you could buy like a. Like, even a Lincolns would kind of somewhat save you, but Lincolns, Aeon Disc, BKB, like, these items that work for myself, I feel mm -hmm. like are so much better. See, I feel like the Lotus Orb, or not, I mean, Lotus Orb you can buy, obviously, as I'm going to get uh, killed, it looks like. Yeah. I buy Lotus Orb occasionally if there's a ton of roots, but, like, I'm thinking here, Skywrath Mage will silence me. I just use, that's for myself. I'm grievesing to take off. I'm dispelling the silence. That's why I yeah. buy it most of the time. And the mana regen. So if I can get that item that does like kills two birds with one stone, then I don't have to get the mana regen talent. I can go for the, the swashbuckle range, which I personally like. Yeah. Uh, okay, and so play a little greedier. I, I can go back really quick to the swashbuckle range. So how I feel on this hero, first of all, is that it's, it's actually much easier to hit level... So I guess to hit level 10 and also have mana regen items is, mm -hmm. is really good on... Like, it's actually something that's insanely good this patch, because... There's just these items that drop on the map and they give you mana regen. Like there's so many items from like the the nets to that that arcane ring, and you just find yourself with so much mana that I don't really consider it, it an issue that that the greaves really solves these mana problems that you have because I don't believe you actually have many mana problems on this hero. Mm -hmm. uh, if you get if you get the talents that, that I suggest, of course. And then also the greaves cost so much money for me personally. Like the amount of gold, yeah. I don't remember how much exactly costs. Costs five thousand gold. It's, yeah, it's, it's just too much. I'm, I'm a real cheap boy. I want to buy my basher. <laughs> I want to buy my egg. I want right. to do damage. Like, I guess in that sense. Also, the reason I don't like the talent, actually, <clears throat> is, um, so you know how if you queue through a hero, you'll get the bonus point, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll explain that for uh, people that don't know. Okay, sure. So if you, if you swatch buckle through an enemy, there is a way to get a bonus proc. It's not as straightforward as, oh, I went through this guy. I should get a proc. Uh, you kind of have to be at a certain range near him. And you have to be like this backwards, right? You have to do it backwards kind of into yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. I rarely I actually do it. I know how to do it. I just, I rarely actually pull it off. Okay. Uh, so what I mainly do on this hero is I would use Q to... So how I mostly use Q is I use Q to chase. There's rare times where I would, I would really use this range to get like this insane Q off on an enemy. Mm -hmm. uh, that would... Like that would do any notice that would have any noticeable impact in the team. Uh, is what is what I believe. So especially if you don't have these great, like I, I know you have a defusal, which is pretty nice, but these long range cues aren't that. Like I don't know how impactful they are in the scheme of things. Like they're kind of just before the fight starts, you can get these cues off. But I really, I believe that if you play, if you play optimally, then you don't really like the range isn't that insane. Right. Yeah, I understand. I, I don't. Know. It's hard to. Oh, this will be an interesting fight. I like this roll, if you can get it off. No. Clockwork, uh, as usual, canceling my shit. <laughs> and he missed me as well. Even rolling now is still good. Oh my god, and that oh, can't... I, I found that out in this play, that that cancels <laughs> my ult. I hope, I hope you I defuse this guy. It. Okay, so what I would have done... You did get that double kill with the range, though, so it's really hard for me to say that the range... <laughs> <laughs> but, but what I would have done is... You get is, used to um, it. Yeah, so what I would have done that play is I would have I would have defused as I was chasing that guy to make sure that my initial While you're rolling, like, roll yeah. landed. Okay. And then I could have either bounced off the wall from there, or after I made sure my roll landed, I could W afterwards to get the damage mm -hmm. off. Um, and then you're still rolling, because you, you canceled your roll really early, and you didn't really need it to last longer that fight, but... Like, yeah, I, I, I find myself... I, I occasionally will cancel my ult early, but it, more times than not, I go back and I look, I'm like, yeah, I probably should have canceled earlier more often. Because usually just let the duration like uh, just, you know, go through with it. But yeah, I don't know. It's, it's interesting because I, I understand what you're saying. You're saying if I don't get the mana regen talent, I don't need to get grief. If you don't get the mana regen talent. But I got to get no, something if, else. If you do get the mana regen talent, you don't need to get Greaves. Right. But I think that I think that a lot of people aren't going the... 
I don't know. This was like hotly debated recently. Like I have a lot of friends that I have a couple friends that are like high MMR as well. It's that spam Pango. They don't spam Pango as much recently, but I actually talked to them about this before, and they were like, "Oh, I like the slash range," and I I never actually understood it because in game. I don't actually notice these these opportunities where it's like, oh, I can slash from here and it's super good. Or mm -hmm. That's an item yeah. for me, right? Techni oh, wait, that's the other team that got it. Never mind. Spider legs. Oh. Technically, that's it's, good on Pango. It is fun. It is fun. You do have to be very careful when you use it, though. Because uh, then you'll just spin around in circles through the terrain, right? You won't actually be able to. Yeah. I guess it's it's more situational than anything. Yeah. Okay, so anyway, I have the... I went the Greaves... And I will almost always, well, in terms of talents, 100% of the time I get the Shield Crash one. I think it's just infinitely better, especially if you're going for Ags at some point in the game, which I always do. And I, I yep. probably will go Ags next. It's always Ags, Basher, or Basher, Ags. And I never, it's never the same. It's I flip-flop between them. Yep, I love that. And I do that too, depending on the game. Uh, so I guess the only difference would be is that I wouldn't have a Greaves. So I guess right now I would have like <laughs> You would have Basher. It, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But this is a really safe route to play as well. Like, there's... Because there's a lot of room for error when you play this hero, especially against, like, all these heroes with silences and stuns and, like, insane mm -hmm. kills. Like, you're so tanky right now, I'd be very surprised if you if you got caught out and died. Um, Do you like getting Quickening Charm on this hero? Uh, it's it's nice. It kind of takes up a slot. Uh, I definitely temporary. don't like the... The Grove Bow is definitely not something I'm used to having on this hero. Well, oh, that's just like, it's better than nothing. Because it's it's more, it reduces the magic resistance on enemies. Nobody sure. else wanted it. I gave the spider legs up, by the way, for now. Yeah, like even... Yeah, I guess the other team has as well. Part of it is because I just, I'm not used to using it, so... Probably really shitty at... I get stuck in the cogs, and there is my ult. I like the roll. Press W into into stun. Oh. Nah, that was terrible. She... Oh, wait. It worked well, this out. This is good. <laughs> uh, so, you know those guys in movies, how they like walk away from explosions? Yeah. I'm I a do. big fan of queuing away. So, I would have like queued <laughs> off the high yeah. ground and like finished them off, and then everyone would have went, oh, wow, look at this guy. He's so good right. with the queue. Oh, uh, I fucked up. Yeah. I think is one there... thing you should. Go ahead. Oh. Okay. Uh, what you should do more is you should cast a fusel blade when you're rolling. Yeah, it's something I that know. I don't see a lot of people do actually. It just it just makes you hit for. It's basically just like a free hit. Like there's no yeah. possible way he's gonna dodge your. And it sets up for more shield crashes as well when you bounce off walls. Yep, I have noticed that in the past, and I almost never do it. It's always when I'm running around I defusel for some reason. I'm not sure why. Yeah. Uh, something is there a jungle item, a neutral item that you like on this hero? Uh, irrationally, because <laughs> there's one that I irrationally love to see. I don't think it's in this irrational. Game. I'm gonna yeah. have to remind myself of that word. <laughs> On, so it's just like because you're you, you like it, or it, yes, it's like there's well, no maybe, real reason. Maybe it actually it. is a good. I mean, it is a good item. I just I like it more than most people would, because I let. It's the. Let me find it. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have it's to guess what it is. Tier, it's, it's a it's tier two item. Tier two item. It's not essence ring, is it? No, no, no. Ah, uh, pupil's gift? Nope. What the heck? Is it vampire fangs? Yes. Oh god, it's okay. so good. So <laughs> good, dude. Something that uh, I was berated for early on. You have to understand. I play this hero right away, and I spammed him right away. Not to your extent, of course. I could never do that. That's ridiculous. Yeah. But <laughs> okay. I love lifesteal on this hero i think it is so underrated like if this game went like i've had 70 minute games on this hero okay let me just tell you my build so okay. it's again i know you don't agree with the greaves but greaves maelstrom diffusal and then agonim scepter then i go basher and at some point i upgrade to an abyssal and then eventually eat my agonim scepter and satanic i think is oh, so good on this hero so fucking good on this hero what are I your thoughts i definitely love this I love the I love the idea behind the lifesteal. Like I do love that item on this hero. Like I'm not gonna buy Vlad's on this hero. It's just too much too much money yeah. for stuff that doesn't actually help my hero out. Like I really love it when so if I'm carrying on mid Pango, like I'll I'll just ask my teammate to buy a Vlad's for me because it's just it's just so good, good on this hero and it's so nice. It feels so good. It really does. But late game, generally my problems, like I know you've been in a lot of 70 minute games, but a lot <laughs> of my problems stem from they stem from mana. Just not having enough mana. 
Right. Like, if you actually get level 30 on this hero, you're going to get in these insane fights where your swashbuckle's on, like, a zero-second cooldown. I'm, I'm surprised you didn't take the right talent on 20, by the way. Yeah, I, I, I we can talk about this after this fight. Uh, that is something I wanted okay. to discuss. Okay, let's watch this fight. So Magnus just double. Oh, oh, he fucked it up. I hope you press W and get lucky. You go the right way. W again is great. Yeah, this hero is uh, way too much fucking fun, actually. <laughs> so the Greaves took off something, maybe. That's maybe true. Maybe didn't do anything. See, this is where lifesteal is like OP because I could literally man fight. Well, maybe yeah, not you could have just before, turned but... on them and maybe they would have died. But yeah, well, if you had life steal. So then, yeah, let's go back to the talent. So the I know I said I'm very greedy. Forty swashbuckle damage versus twenty strength. I'm like fifty. I'm like sixty forty or fifty fifty. I pretty much it depends on the game how I'm feeling. This game I feel okay. like I'm I'm dying too much. Slaughter does way too much fucking damage. PA does way too much damage. Windrunner as well. I feel like I just need the extra 400 HP, you know? Okay. So, I will always get the plus one damage. <laughs> I'm not surprised. <laughs> give, me, give me it. Tell me your reasoning. Um, okay. Uh, I, I will probably... If there is something that really ruins me in this game, I will probably buy an item for it. And if, if I don't buy an item for it, and I believe that I can survive, like not like not buying an item i will just mm -hmm. blame myself if i position incorrectly and i die to something that i shouldn't have died to i'll just blame myself like all this all this strength stuff I, i'm just not a fan of it. like i'll right. just i'll just tell myself if i'm gonna die like if i'm gonna get caught i'm just gonna assume that i'm gonna entirely die like you're, this game's kind of different because you also have reeves so it, you're staying alive is kind of different for you like maybe you'll position yourself a little differently but i'm a big fan of the glass cannon mm -hmm. uh mess everyone up and play play also cautiously like kind of i'm the guy that's that people are like hey the, the party's starting and you're just like you're still getting ready but you're gonna look good when you get there i, I guess that's that's the expression kind of over uh, that's a great but... analogy love it almost yeah. as good as the uh testicles as big as your eyes or whatever it was yeah 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 so I i'm often hated for this as well because it kind of extends onto my other play styles is that i'll be farming waves and camps so much and then i'll arrive to the fight late but like because I'm arriving late to the fight, I won't really die. Like, I'll be able to roll in, like, safely and get, like, safe cues off and do well in the fight. Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of, like, a really nice way to play the hero. Like, if you can play the hero that way, where you have, like, a frontliner, typically with Tango offlane, it's kind of hard to do that because you're kind of supposed to be the frontliner. But with Magnus, I really like playing Tango because Magnus doesn't die very quickly. It enables you to come and help him, especially when he, when he initiates on a fight. And, and power works on my Q, right? At least yes, to some respect. Does. Yeah. Double kill. I think we did and it, it a is few beautiful. Times. It is beautiful on this hero as well. Yeah, that's nice. I remember when it first came out, I tried Battle Fury on this hero. It did not did not feel very good. <laughs> but it technically works. So Yeah. It's just yeah, again, it's all about just item efficiency, right? Like is Battle Fury better than you having this item? Is Battle Fury do more work than this item does in this scenario, right? Yeah. Oh, out of curiosity, have you played Snapfire yet? Uh I have. Do you um, consider the E? Everybody disagrees with me on this, but since you're a Pango player, maybe you'll see where I'm coming from. I feel like the E is kind of, it's Q for Pango in a different form. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you can, you can end up unlocking it through a talent and actually go DPS if you want. Uh, <laughs> so I wanted to believe in Snapfire Pods 3 so much. Or really it's Snapfire bad. Carry. Yeah. It's just bad. I've like, I, I, have to, I have to look at my match history. I think I played it on my, uh, yeah, I didn't actually play Snapfire on this account, but I played it on my other 7k account, and I just lost. Like, I won one game by a fluke, and then I just lost, like, six games in a row. <laughs> yeah, and that's I just felt so like. bad. Well, it's because you, you go all this, you, you put all these resources into your E, right? And you have your ult that doesn't synergize at all with that build. That's the issue. That is the main issue with that hero. That yeah. hero is kind of a mess, though. Anyway, we're not talking about your. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Pango, typically... Oh, I forgot to mention another item I would get before Satanic, if I'm truly 7-slotted, is MKB. That's when it feels like you are... Okay, I'm actually the carry now. You get MKB. That f feels god-tier on this hero. Do you buy that typically, if the game goes late um, enough? I do like MKB, but I've had a lot of issues with, again, my mana and the items that I want to buy in the game. So typically I'll have... So say instead of the Guardian Greaves, you just have Treads, or you just have, like... Say you, like had arcanes and you like disassembled them and then you just mm. like sold the other part off and just kept your spider legs like there's a lot of things that could have happened with your build but i like this uh this basher purchase but i probably wouldn't end up with with like an mkb later on in the game like if i can help it 
I probably don't go MKB just because I'd rather buy other items that also help with like mana regen. Very interesting. Mana. Very interesting. So it you really don't think. So what are your boots in that scenario in your typical game by the end of the game? Are they still arcanes? Uh, boots so if I, if I have arcanes. So actually, I, I actually never go Greaves anymore. If I have like I, I'm not recommending this to everyone like as if it will work in your games. Like Greaves is definitely is still a decent item. But I will most often go either Arcanes or, or Treads. Recently, it's been a lot of Treads. But mm -hmm. I've justified Arcanes a lot in the offlane, uh, just from wanting more mana. Right. But I would end up disassembling the Arcanes. This game, I would just disassemble Arcanes, sell the Energy Booster, sell the Boots, right. okay. and then just have Spider Legs. But otherwise, I would just disassemble them, sell the Energy Booster, and then just like buy uh, Travels or something like that. Uh, I see a nice roll. Um, not really. This is not a nice roll. <laughs> I yeah. saw some BKBs. Yeah, <laughs> that was the issue. BKBs popped shortly after, and that's when you feel very helpful. This is where MKB uh, feels really good, here. if we had it. Well, this yeah, is now that MKBs good now. are down. Notice I didn't use spider legs once this fight because I don't know how to use them. I never remember I have them. Until now, I'm like, oh, I have spider legs. Oh, it's too late. I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> that's why I don't use spider legs. It's too much to think about. I'm a fan of the passive items, you know? Don't yeah. think about anything. For sure, for sure. I think that fight was just maybe a very messy. It's just unfortunate. There's there's some games where you'll just buy you'll just like you'll think that this is gonna be a great fight and then the two heroes just press BKB and you're like, well, I guess my role's over and all my teammates are dead. Yeah. Do you feel like the position one in a lot of your games? I As do. the off laner? Or mid I have been I have been yelled at by many players. I think Gunner can definitely attest to this. When Gunner says, This is my farm. And then no, then I'll say no. This is this is my fault. <laughs> and he's playing like pause one or pause two, and I'm playing offlane. I like I definitely there's definitely games where I look at the draft and I say, oh, I, I can carry this game pretty easily if I if I just make sure I play my own game and I get my farm. Uh, but there's other games where I tell myself, okay, well, I know I'm not gonna be able to carry this game. I'll be like a supporting role at best, but I'm not the one that's gonna be able to kill the enemy carry. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. Like I'm, I'm mostly a damage role. I'll still buy the, the carry items, of course, to try to always. carry the game. But yeah, but I'll still play more of a damage role. I mean, to complete, be completely honest, yeah. So, what percentage of the games do you play off lane versus like? Do you play off lane mid, and is that it? Do you ever play position one actually? Uh, there was a time that I did try some position one pango just as like a challenge. Uh, I did see Eternal Envy trying to popularize it with the with it like the twenty what was it no, the fifty minute eggs timing. He was trying to say how oh you're so strong after your eggs at, at twenty minutes and stuff like that. And it, it was okay, but I don't really think it's as good as the mid pango. I've been loving mid pango more because you're just offered so much free reign over the map. Because uh, I play a very farm heavy playstyle, and I think pause three is kind of. I don't know. It, it enables you to farm less. Also, you don't really have a tanky hero on your team if you play offlane pango. With some yeah. That, that, I'm glad you brought that up. That feels like one of the biggest issues in the games that I play. I, like, I just have this complex where I don't trust my team to <laughs> do damage late game almost ever. Yeah. So playing the offlane pango as a damage dealer means you do not have like typically that tanky aura guy in front. You know. Yeah. So I do like mid, but I don't get to play it that often because it just feels like so many heroes trash. Well, I'm not that good mid personally, but like, yeah. like as a as a melee hero mid, it feels bad a lot of the time. I feel like in my bracket mm -hmm. at least, it's it's definitely a hard role to get adjusted to. Like, coming from my perspective, like I've been playing offlane basically exclusively for for a long time, and actually only recently, like within this last month or two, I've kind of been just going mid lane like a lot more, just mm -hmm. with kind of these melee heroes because I think melee heroes. So a lot of a lot of people will say this, uh, like a lot of high MR people will say. You have no skill. You're picking a melee hero mid because you just buy Quelling Blade, and if you just buy Quelling Blade and you fair yourself regen and you have like spells to kill range creeps, right. um, mid mid isn't that as bad as I thought it was. Like I I've always had this like complex going into into Dota where mid is hard as as hell. I'm never gonna play mid, and now like I've kind of hated offlane Pango so much because of my lack of like tank heroes, like or because Pango doesn't tank, and then I have no tank on my team and stuff like that that I've kind of acquired the mid picks. It's been my preferred role recently. Gotcha. I love that role, by the way. Why, thank you, sir. <laughs> we got some buybacks on the clockwork, it looks like. Yeah, I'm getting this fucked here. Unfortunate. Yeah. No greaves to save your life. <laughs> <laughs> I need two greaves immediately. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I'll go Lotus, depending on the game. This could have been a good game for a Lotus, but 
I was feeling... I mean, when you get Aghanim Scepter, I feel like it just feels so bad to not have, like, a Basher after that. I guess we should have mentioned what Aghanim's actually does for this hero. So it'll essentially cast your Swashbuckle in four different directions when you use Shield Crash, and that's why it synergizes so well with... Uh, I'm not clicking on my hero right now. On the two-second Shield Crash cooldown at 15. Do you ever see anybody go the other one, by the way? 15 talent? Um, it's, it's very, very rare. Uh, especially when you're playing Pango Core. Like, maybe if you're Pango Pause, Pause 4, uh, you could probably justify the Rolling Thunder cooldown. Maybe you, like, don't feel like you have the mana to sustain it, but I don't know. Like, it got slightly better. Like, it used to be plus 2 Rolling Thunder duration, and now it's plus 4. Mm -hmm. So that's that's kind of big when you think about it that way, but I really still don't think it's as good. Um, yeah. Like, even if you're not going eggs, I really think that the, the W damage is just so insane on enemy heroes that it's really hard to not. Like, it's really hard to pass it up. And for the 25 talent, um, I always go the swashbuckle cooldown. I don't think I've... I think nice. I maybe tried the other one once. I don't think anybody goes that talent either, though, right? Uh, yeah. It's it cuts it in half, I believe, now. right? No, basically. As well, yeah. something you'll notice as well is another big reason that I have out there for justifying the, the swashbuckle cooldown is that if you get the rolling thunder, it's very rare that you'll actually roll twice in a team fight because even if you had the cooldown, you would actually run out of mana. If mm -hmm. you are pressing your W significantly, like uh, many, many times while you're rolling, uh, you'll run out of mana very quickly, and there is very low chance that you'll actually use your ult twice. It'll mostly be just using other skills to clean up after your ult. Gotcha. And you'll kind of see that in a lot of these fights. Like there's, there's not a lot of fights where, like that I've seen even in this game that I would point out where, oh, if you could have ulted 20 seconds later, then maybe things would have gone differently. The fight's kind of already over. Yeah, I feel like this hero, the talents. Well, we can talk about this a bit as well, but the talents. Some of them are very obvious. Uh, I think, for the most part, 90% of people will get the same four talents every game. That's the three mana regen, two shield crash, swashbuckle damage. That one may be a little bit more debatable. And then yeah, swashbuckle yeah. cooldown. So, so three out of the four talents, I feel like almost 100% of the people go for, right? So they probably need to switch these talents up just a little bit to make it more diverse. Yeah, I think you're right. Like, they, they did try to make it better. Like, they, they tried to fix the Rolling Thunder duration. I, I'm not sure what else they fixed. Uh, but, yeah, just those fixes were nice. I see a fight going really well. Again, I would have defused the clockwork to make sure I would have hit it. I did right there. <laughs> <laughs> I did it afterwards. <laughs> oh, this was a bad, bad pango fight for me. But it I happens. Yeah, I would keep see, running. Look at this people. range. Look at the range. And then you press look at the range. <gasps> No, no, I could have kept chasing, actually. I'm dumb. I could have killed him. Yeah. 100%. So in, the, in the middle of the fight, you kind of just stood there and kind of watched your team click people. I think you could have <laughs> kept running at people. That. So let me ask you this, because I find myself having issues in team fights where if they have a really good lineup against me, this one is meh. Uh, I swashbuckle first, and then I ult every single time. It's actually a bad habit. I never roll first. <laughs> uh, and I can get killed as a result. Do you have that issue ever? Yeah, so what do you think my ideal play is to, to get into a fight? To get into fights? Well, the, the bet... The like, net? Okay. <laughs> no, well, no, no, no. So, so I guess that was kind of a bad question, but I did the exact same thing as you. I am I am 100% in agreement with the... Wait, hold on. This fight is... Yeah, my ult's getting canceled constantly. Always fun. Oh, well, you can hit him with the swashbuckle range, BW. Nice. I like the turnaround. I missed uh -oh. so many spells this fight. I I I. I would have yeah, just. That was a terrible fight. Yeah, I see you run away now. Look at those greaves. It took off that slow, bro. That PA <laughs> slow. And I'm the only Shoot, one to live. <laughs> I don't remember what we were talking about. Oh no. Um, about swashbuckling first and then rolling oh. in fights. Yes, yes, yes. So I've actually thought about buying BKB. Like these items, mm -hmm. like BKB, actually started appealing to me because I I would tell myself, I want if I can swashbuckle before rolling in this fight, this fight becomes infinitely better for me. Yeah, and these heroes that true. make it difficult for you to like actually start your roll, like after you initially swashbuckle in, uh, makes it really hard for me to play Pango because I always want to queue in, like I want to swashbuckle in first and then start rolling. And if I can't do that, then I just get it's really unfortunate, I guess, and it's a big part of my play. So. I should have swashbuckled two or three times going to this fight as well. Looking at my, I don't, I don't know why I'm not. This was fucking. This? I was pissed at this one. That's bullshit. I am. 
What I want. I want. I want to throw up, man. I feel your pain. That's, I've died. I've died way too many times to random players that I think suck playing Skyrim. <laughs> just press their buttons and I die. Well, no, it was I more about the. I of course I, I never. I told you already. I never <laughs> defuse them correctly. And this one was hilarious because I was missing all my spells so badly. But no, I got shackled to Roshan. That's why I was so pissed. Yeah, this was. Everybody was laughing at me. For this horrible <laughs> display. But I got the kill. That's all that matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I finally have Basher coming out, so. But Pretty yeah, I'm, I'm in a big agreement. Big agreements with the with the Q first and then and then roll. Like if you can do that safely any game, like the best fight for me is one where I Q in and I'm like at the perfect range where I like can't get got on or I can't get like stunned and I can just start rolling. That that's really just the best fight. And then you like W like you're rolling and then you defuse all you W into into a nice shield crash and you just you know, you bounce off the right walls and then you're good to go. Right. I believe we are going for Throne. <laughs> I guess this game's about to end. Uh, one thing as well that I think you could have done more in this game. I, I should have been watching the gameplay a little more in the map rotations, but I'm sure he, oh, that... He I'm abandoned, sure by the way. Why would you abandon with, like, less than 10 seconds left? All right, go ahead. Oh. <laughs> so <weird. laughs> no, I agree, I agree. I would have definitely bought more clarities over the course of the game. Yeah, so. I never do that on any hero. I don't know why. The, the courier thing is actually so abusable, where just whenever I need stuff, like my health is a bit low, I'm just going to buy a random set of, like, uh, people will get mad at me actually, like, some of my people that watch me play will just be like, why do you have tangos at 40 minutes in the game in your backpack? Like, you'll just have like two tangos sitting there, so like one time I just wanted more health and I just sprayed myself out tangos, or I'll have like five clarities in my backpack, just from random times where I'm just farming the map more. Like, uh, this game is kind of more fight heavy, so it's not really uh, mm -hmm. as applicable here, I guess, because you're fighting so much. But buying more clarities is generally never a bad thing on this hero as well. Yeah, I will make a mental note of that. All right, let me look at the end game screen here as it takes a million years for me to get through my Dota Plus. Okay, so what I want to know from you, well, I had in terms of da Hey, I was number one in damage on my team. In the game, in fact. That's always Beautiful. the first thing I look for. <laughs> so I know every game there's something different where you need to itemize a certain way. But if you could sum this down to seven items, let's say you're a seven slotted pango. I want to know okay. what items you want in a game. Okay. I'll probably have either bots or spider legs. Those are okay. interchangeable, I suppose. Uh, I would probably still have my defusal just because you can kind of trade it up later on, but I probably would still have it. I would have a defusal. I'd have an Eaton Agnum Scepter. I'd probably have a Mjolnir. I'd have an Abyssal. Probably a Lincoln's. Um, maybe I'd pick up a Spell Prism if possible from from the lucky drops. Uh, <laughs> okay, we're it's, including it's really neutral rare. items. Okay, okay. I mean, it's really rare that I hit these long games. It's like lucky I've been asked you. this question. Be <laughs> I've been asked this question before. And it's it's really hard for me to answer as well because so much of it depends on the game and if like what items you bought early game. Mm -hmm. um, I I've looked at Scotty and I thought it was a decent item just from the from the mana that it gives you. Normally you would never consider this item. Um, I very rarely bought Satanic. Uh, Try I'm it, dude. Very... <laughs> so good. Okay. So good. It, it's just the mana. I just run out of mana. I just I cast know. my spells whenever they're up and I run out of mana. Well, um, I, what, why do you upgrade Maelstrom? Uh, just from. I just needed an, another item later on in the game. And you eventually come down to like a right-clicking bot later on in the game. Mm -hmm. uh, if your spells aren't up, like you just right-click a, like a crap ton and then you're just clicking on people. And yeah, I guess it's just now that like I think about it, it, it's unfair to ask you seven slot because you say your games never go that long. Mine, as I said, do. So I have, I've had a lot of time to think about this. I actually get rid of Maelstrom late game because it drops off so much compared to other items you can get. Like MKB I'd rather have, for example, obviously, than Maelstrom. And then Mjolnir, it doesn't really... Like, when you buy a BKB and you're actually right-clicking, it makes sense because then you have attack speed and all that good stuff. Like, the way that I play, I just never get to that point. I'm always swashbuckling and doing it from a distance instead of actually right-clicking in the midst of things, you know? But that's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I I'm, I definitely wasn't a big fan of the Mjolnir upgrade until recently because... Well, not, not until recently. I'm still not a big fan of it. I would always see the people have, like, Maelstroms and Bashers, and I'd be like, these items are great. And then people would just upgrade their, their Basher, and I'd be like, this isn't very value. But actually, I've loved Abyssal on Pango recently. Like, the changes to Abyssal make it way more value than it used to be, especially if, say, you get Puck Coiled, you can Abyssal, and you'll actually just, like, jump on something. Like, instead of just sit, staying there for the entire fight, 
you can mm -hmm. abyssal onto somebody and then all of a sudden you're actually like so in such a better position you have a free stun off you can press more w's that are closer to the team fights um same concept when you get like tree and ulti or something like that uh how, just does abyssal, a how does abyssal work with your ult these days do you actually um, blink with your ult you do blink, which is pretty cool. Damn. Uh, okay. You can definitely you can definitely use it. Of course, it's better to always roll into the target because then you're not really wasting your abyssal. And then maybe True. if you're like, <laughs> oh shoot, I messed up my ulti and I hit a wrong wall, you could always uh, correct it with abyssal. Mm -hmm. um, but or you yeah. could do it right after you rolled on them, right, as you're passing them or something. That's true. That works as well. Interesting. Um, yeah, I, my games, even though they end really late, I have not had I've not upgraded the abyssal that often only a few times uh okay but yeah this all right that's that's a lot of cool information that uh I i'm definitely gonna try doing the like more so mana regen side and i'll try it without greaves because i've gotten stuck in this mentality where i'm just buying the same items it's again it yeah. it's not just the mana regen it's it's the dispel of these roots that they constantly like you said tree sky wrath there's so many heroes that have these really annoying spells that just ruin pango like roots other than rupture, roots are the like bane of Pango's existence for the most part. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention earlier. You can turn the the arcane boots. You can turn the energy booster into a uh, what's the item called? Andis as well, which is or Andis yeah. or, or or Lotus. Um, yeah. I don't remember what I was cool. gonna say, but I I do again. Live life on the edge, Suns fan. It, it, it's it's fun. It's fun on the other side, <laughs> but it's also <laughs> scary. It's scary to die. I don't like dying. Um. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's all also, about playstyle. I just have to get used to not being completely in there and just trust my team more, probably. With yeah, that or thing. you can just be like, you can be like half in there, you know? If people <laughs> ask how you play against these heroes, just kind of don't be all in. Just be kind of like okay, half in. Okay. Hit, this, hit this weird place where where things can go well and you don't lose. And I don't know. But yeah, also the net. You should really try the net. I wish I could draw you a picture right now, but picture like... You see, you see that wall. There's like, there's like a, a wall to my to this side. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. There's this wall mm -hmm. here, right? So say there's this this person standing right here. You roll through him. You bounce mm -hmm. off the wall. You roll back and you hit him again. And then there's no wall on this side, right? So you can just you can net and then you'll hit you'll hit him again, basically. And it's it's basically like a third hit. And so I could, yeah. When do you? I've only tried it one, in one game. I I understand that this is a stupid mentality. This is just how my mind works. I only, I used it once in one game, or a few times in one game, and I didn't like it. Do you cast it? You cast it after. Let's pretend there's no walls. Okay. Okay. I'm stunning the hero with my ult. I'm on top of them. I cast it then. Right. Yes. yes. Okay. Because when I was it doing it, it was anybody. not like stunning them again and again. It was. It, I don't know. Maybe I was doing it wrong. I have to practice that a little bit more. Yeah, for but, sure. So I guess you can you can do it on like like maybe not as soon as you hit them, but like so you you're gonna hit them and they're gonna be displaced like a small amount of distance. Just make sure you're casting your net like at the place where they're at, uh, mm -hmm. and then everything will go fine. And then you can also press your W as much as you want. So you can press your W while you're about to hit them and then net them, and then like you'll be netted there for two seconds, and then your W will be off cooling again. So say you do that, you know that play where you you W into a guy and it feels so satisfying when you yeah, hit them as you down and they get displaced. Um, if you net him like right after, you'll also have your W up again. So you'll literally like bounce like right in place and get that other satisfying feeling like right after. Yeah, that that does sound good. Okay, I'll give it a shot. And the manor right, is also nice. It's nice as well. So I've heard. Yeah, <laughs> the I, big. I'm a big manor guy. Mana farming. Now, did guy, I? Did yeah. it look like I was out of mana at all? Do I just not use my swashbuckle enough or something? Because I feel like I'm never running out of mana on this hero. Um, I, I honestly, I'd have to take it. I'm really bad at multitasking, and I I, I needed to I, I would have had to look over the replay a bit more and watch oh, where fine. there are places where I would have maybe farmed this camp more or. But I find in my games, I'm personally always out of mana. Okay. When I play this here, like this, so is, I'm just doing so it wrong. Waves or, I mean, you hit really good timings as well. Like you definitely farmed well, you fought well. Uh, so would you just, say I'm an okay pango? Like okay, let's let's put this in perspective. My okay. my skill bracket. I am, for whatever reason, a divine support, and I'm an ancient core. I don't know what the fuck happened. I don't play support at all. That makes no yeah. sense. For an ancient bracket, would you say I'm a good pango, generally? 
Um, That's a lot of hesitation. I would say, I would say, no, I would say you're a good pango. I, I can tell people, <laughs> I feel like being a good pango, <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm just saying, because I've seen these players that just, they'll just, they'll see the range sheet getting low and they'll actually just stand still. And you can see them like preparing, like they're, they're, they're trying to cast their cue and they're like standing there for like two seconds idly and you know they're <laughs> going to cast their cue. I, I can see that you have played the hero a lot because you, your cues, your cues do look nice. They're they're kind of more fluid than than some other players. Like I've I've watched a lot of really like I've watched a lot, I've watched a lot of like seven k, eight k players like try to play pango and it's it hurts it hurts to watch. And I would say I would say you're a good pango. Thank you. So that means a lot coming from you, sir. Did you play Han by the way? Are you too young for that? Uh, I have I not played Han. Special. The only other MOBA I've played is okay. League of Legends. Oh boy. All right. Well, I was gonna say because. This is essentially a Han hero. It feels so much. It's very fast paced. You got the, uh, uh, oh shit, what's it called? The Q. What is that called again? The mechanics, uh, vector targeting. Like, yeah. It has oh, vector targeting. Vector targeting. It just okay. turn rate is one point zero. <clears throat> we didn't mention that, other than in his ult, obviously. Very fast turn rates. It just feels like a fluid hero. It feels like when you play Bane, for example. You want to kill yourself because everything you do <laughs> takes a million years. Pango, it's just like, yeah. boom. It's like there's no delay. It feels so fucking good. I highly recommend this to people that have not uh, played it because I know some people are a little bit intimidated based on my amazing gameplay. <laughs> like, I could never do that. You guys can do it too, trust me. So, Luki, yeah. thank you for coaching me. Really appreciate it. Let everyone know what <clears throat> where to find you on social and your... I, you stream all the time as well, please. For sure, for sure. So I guess I, I'm on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Lukey Lukey, L-U-K-I, L-U-K-I. Uh, I go live fairly often. A lot of school and resume stuff recently, though, so not as much as I would like. But yeah, and then I'm on Twitter at, uh, if you search Lukey Lukey, though, you'll probably find me, but it's Lukey Lukey. Wow, that's, that's great. But, uh, yeah. I'll, you know what? To make it easier, <laughs> I'll put it in the description of the video, guys, so you can just click it. So thanks awesome. again, buddy. Really appreciate it. Uh, I would say let's do this again, but this is the only hero you play. So you got you got to play another hero, and we can do it again. Sound <laughs> I have been trying some Void Spirit. Yes. Apparently, it's not. A... Let's do it. It's rough. Up. It's rough. Up. <laughs> you'll you'll get there. I I love that hero as well. That feels very similar to Pango for me, uh, in some ways. It does so. it does okay? Cool. Great. Thanks, buddy. Really appreciate it. Until Wonderful. next time, thanks, guys. Man. Suns fan and Luki Luki signing out. Goodbye.